If you're looking for the best parlor guitar, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have CC60S Concert Pack. The Fender Giants are often better known for their electric guitar models, but their acoustic range has a few surprising buttes in the bunch. We love this sweet pear-shaped acoustic parlor model. It plays like a dream. This guitar has excellent balance despite the bottom heavy body. The back and sides are mahogany, and the top is crafted from solid spruce, seated on scalloped X bracing, which allows it just enough flexibility for impressive acoustics. 14 of the 21 featured frets are fully accessible, giving you good scope for chords. The fretboard itself benefits from a rolled edging, which makes it easier to play. The tension is good and tuning and has a pretty arched acoustic headstock. This is a full-size guitar with a parlor body that gives it better portability and comfort. Moving on to the next at number two with Yamaha CSFTA Parlor Transacoustic Guitar. Another high quality option comes from Yamaha's fantastic CSF Transacoustic Series, which we have stopped to admire before. It's seamlessly crafted with a mahogany back and sides. It features a strong NATO hardwood neck that gives it impeccable intonation and great balance. It sports a rosewood fingerboard and accurate fretting. The parlor size body shows off understated curves and then the solid Sitka spruce top makes for great tonality. But the best quality this model has to boast about comes from the series trans acoustic nature. It harbors Yamaha's groundbreaking integrated actuator within to capture the vibration of your strings and provide a natural acoustic reverberating ambience without amplification. The trans acoustic tech gives it a chorus-like vibe which can be controlled like regular electronic equalization, giving this parlor guitar an edge over the competition. The number three position is held by Ibanez PN15 Parlor Size Acoustic Guitar. This Ibanez model steals our ultimate spot. It is, again, a very well-built modern parlor model which has traditional bracing and plays with great tonality and intonation. This is one of the cheapest options we've included, but its cost-effective design doesn't make for any shortcomings. Its beautiful bulbous body is formed from spruce, and it again relies on mahogany for its neck, back, and sides. It has strong chrome die-cast tuners. One of its greatest appeals is its Ibanez Advantage bridge pins, which typically don't feature on a cheaper choice. It's an affordably priced option which provides a lovely acoustic guitar with great tones in a parlor package. Next at number 4 we have Cordoba C10 SB Classical, All Solid Woods, Acoustic Nylon String Guitar. The Cordoba C10 guitar is a quality classic guitar from Spain Cordoba, made from whole wood materials, solid Indian rosewood back and back. This is a solid design, durable and perfect for those pursuing classic guitar styles or for any player looking to upgrade to a concert level instrument. The Cordoba C10 is the only nylon stringed guitar on this list. Cordoba C10 guitars have equipment that enhances sound quality with extremely pure sound. With the versatile ebony fingerboard keyboard, players can freely show off their skillful playing through flexible mechanics and the quality of Cordoba C10 guitar products. The structural build feature of this C10 version allows the entire instrument to coordinate smoothly as one piece. The C10 has a fan bracing pattern that gives the center of the cabinet more surface area to vibrate and respond to string tension. The more sensitive soundboard makes the guitar sound louder, provides a better melody, and allows the whole unit to vibrate as one unit. This parlor guitar has the same shape and flat keyboard characteristic as traditional classical guitars. The Cordoba C10 does not come with any electronic devices installed in the keyboard. However, if you want to replenish electronic equipment after you buy this guitar, you can definitely add more. The number five position is held by Blue Ridge Guitars, six string acoustic guitar. The first thing that stands out as soon as you touch this guitar parlor is its superb quality with the feel and smooth finish of the finish, resonant body, flawless design, and a super easy to play and comfortable neck. The roof shines very brightly here. The neck is made of sturdy mahogany and does not easily bend, making the instrument well suited for portability. The neck material makes the performance much easier, reduces fretboard noise to zero, and provides a smooth feel to the six string, like travel guitars. This guitar parlor has barely any complicated hardware parts, 
but every single component here does an excellent job. The included nickel-plated regulator is capable of keeping the instrument in the right shape. Parlor plants have the same resonance, warmth, and punch on many dreadnought models. The presence of low frequencies, warm bass, strong mids, and bright treble. Parlor models often lack bass and provide the same sound like a banjo. But this guitar parlor provides everything a quality full-grown six-string has. The number six position is dominated by Recording King RPH-5 Dirty 30s. This affordable classical guitar is called the Recording King RPH-5 gets special attention as it ranks as one of the best parlor guitars on almost any list found. The RPH-5 has a small body with a slightly elongated body with a regular size sound hole making it appear smaller than it really is. The sunburst finish and the classic look give the impressive blues box look. The Recording King built the Dirty 30s RPH-5 with a solid spruce top, which is seen on higher-end guitars. This feature makes this parlor guitar have great quality. Solid spruce top supports the back, and the sides are crafted from laminated white wood. White wood is a general term used to refer to pine and spruce. This is an interesting choice for a parlor guitar as it will emphasize the upper mids, which will balance out the lower frequencies it has due to its size. The laminate back and sides provide the reliable support and durability of this parlor guitar so you won't have to worry about moisture changes and impact as much as you would with an all-solid guitar. The width of the nut and the C-neck is what makes it easier to use, with its low price tag. It is not surprising that this guitar parlor sentence does not have too many aesthetic decor and other high-end features. The RPH-5 has a simpler look, which looks more elegant. Other features include a perennial ivoroid body lanyard, extra-large finger dots, a vintage-style regulator, and a vintage-inspired recording king headstock. The subtly distorted like tone of this sound makes it perfect for some classic blues melodies. But it will work on many other musical styles too. Because of its reliability, you won't have to bother much about its preservation. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Luna Gypsy Muse Parlor Acoustic Guitar. Mahogany Gypsy Muse is one of the most popular products of the Luna brand. The most notable detail in the neck is Luna's moon face pearl-shaped markers as well as the Celtic knot asterisk, which is a striking feature of the first-class Gypsy lineage. As part of the All Mahogany Gypsy series, it's no surprise that this large 25.25 parlor guitar is made entirely of mahogany. This material gives a warm look and the right tone to this parlor guitar. The satin finish on the body and neck gives this instrument a subtle ambience, as well as enhances the sense of speed on the neck. This neck is a comfortable C-shape with standard nut width and a total of 21 frets connected on the 14th fret. This is an all-in-one acoustic guitar, so there are no electronics to talk about. There is a closed die cast chrome tuner, as well as the urea nut at the top of the guitar. On the other end, there's a black modern walnut bridge with a urea saddle. The neck is also fitted with a double acting truss for easy intonation adjustment. This Luna equipment is really surprising in terms of tone. Overall, the sound is very sweet and packs a powerful punch for such a small guitar. With great mid-range accents, blues and folk music players will appreciate this traditional trait. The mahogany texture offers a bit warmer than the spruce version. It has a slightly lower tonal depth than some of the more upscale monolithic shops, but overall it proves more than it's worth something that usually happens with most Luna instruments. The number 8 position is held by Fender CP100 Parlor Small Body Acoustic Guitar. The Fender CP100 is an affordable parlor guitar, a delicate piece of art. Despite its small body, it still has the ability to produce sensible volumes. It's not at the level of the Dreadnought, but it certainly is its taste and charm. If you want a compact guitar with great sound at an affordable price, you can't go wrong with it. The body of this parlor guitar is made of a laminated spruce top, which allows for excellent projection. The smooth satin finish back and sides made of laminated mahogany add to its charm. The scalloped X-bracing system helps the body be held together. The mahogany neck has a naturally slender design with a double acting truss. This parlor guitar's chrome hardware includes components that make maintaining melody a non-existent problem, further confirmed by its excellent inflection. This is thanks to a rosewood bridge at the top of the bone offset composite saddle, as well as six open gear regulators mounted on top. The instrument's sound output attempts to move towards more mid-wide tones. However, the sounds spoken are still very full within that range. This is a lightweight parlor guitar so you can play. Fender CP100 has a mid-range that seems great for finger-picking and thumb-plucking blues and won't sound overly boxy when played. Next at number 9, 
we have Yamaha CSF 3M TPS, all solid parlor size acoustic guitar. The Yamaha CSF 3M is a parlor style acoustic guitar from the early 20th century. The CSF line of guitars could be the inspirational alternative to dreadnought full-size guitars when recording, with full sound and resonance that can stand out even when recording with master focus. Weak on the guitar barrel, it has a redesigned wooden back for a louder, richer sound. Guitar CSF 3M is set up with elixir strings. You will be amazed by a rich, vibrant sound CSF 3M series guitars are great to play and there is no compact model that sounds like it. With solid sick of pine cones, mahogany backing, and ribs, and the innovative curved bracing design, the compact CSF guitars deliver amazingly rich, rounded sound compared to herd size weather indoors, on the street, in the studio, or on stage. CSF guitars have a passive submersible sound sensor that uses the same sensor as an L-System Yamaha electric guitar, making it easy for the artist to plug in an amplifier or PA system during live performance. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Art Luthery AMI Steel String Cedar Black 6-String Acoustic Guitar. This guitar parlor is made from solid wild cherries with a great sound. There is no single drop of glue that can be seen from any brace. The mids really stand out and give it a sound that's not quite as empty as a box. It is very easy to handle, lightweight, and somewhat balanced when holding or sitting. In my opinion, the best part is that it has a strap but placed on the bridge side. This parlor guitar looks like a quality handcrafted instrument. The neck is 111-16 at the nut and hardly chunky to feel good for. It appears like an original guitar neck rather than a cheap one. The satin finish is very well accomplished. These details contribute to a feeling very similar to the lines of a traditional parlor guitar, the nut and cedar the tusk. This parlor guitar has an exceptional balance on all strings and mitts. It not only is a warm tone but also is quite bright. The bass is just right for a guitar of this size. The action is a bit high up but you can lower it by picking up an empty bone and shaping a new saddle and moving a bit off the bottom. The shimmering feeling of the silk sheets also gives the action a nice, slightly sagging blue feel. However, the sound is still a bit crunchy or fake due to the tusk saddle. The tuner holds very well. The nut looks fine and neat. The neck is a bit flat. The fret finish is smooth despite the small fret spacing. In general, this guitar is a good deal because of the excellent price for such a solid instrument. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.